week two day two compare version numbers so it's quite a straightforward problem we just have to do what's asked compare two version numbers version one and version two if version one is greater than version two return one otherwise return minus one if they're both the same thing return zero now watch how a version is defined okay 2.5 is not two and a half it is second version fifth revision so 0 0.1 means 0th, one, uh, 0th version, first revision, 0, 1.0.1 point one means 1, then 0, then a, the 1. So basically, we just have to see all these numbers, okay, and compare the two strings lexicographically. As in, 7, this is also version 7. Then the next subversion is 5, this is also 0.5. Here it's 0.2, here it's 0.3, so that means he's bigger. So minus 1. I, I don't know what to call this exactly. So yeah, think of them as levels is what they said. So 7th level, inside the 7th level on the 5th level, inside the 5th level on the 2nd level, and here 3 is bigger than 2. So inside the 2nd level on the 4th level, here it's inside the 3rd level on the 0th level, right? So first of all, here you notice the problem. This has, this has four numbers. This has only three. So let's first first thing we should do is make both of them have the same number of levels. So the same number of dots. Okay. Then we'll come back and think of the logic. Yeah. Okay. I'll call them dots one. I'll call it d one and d two. Okay. These will store the count of dot great let's do it d1 equal to count and i'll name this v1 and v2 v1 dot begin v1 dot end this will be linear time okay count so don't worry since our anyways our program will run in linear time and d2 is equal to count same thing but v2 instead of so version 2 now if d1 is bigger than d2 so i have no i don't have any problem with this but if this is the case then let me do this i'll do this uh, this difference is there right okay let me call it difference So now that means d1 is missing those many dots. Let me put those dots as 0 0.0, right? For example, think that we've given these two strings. After this string, we want to just put a 0 0.0, dot 0. After this, we want to put dot 0, dot 0 two times to make them both have the same number of levels. Let me do that. So while diff, simply, I'm just going to add, okay, d1 has more, so Version 2 needs some more people. Version 2 plus equal to dot 0. Nothing else. Now we'll do the same thing. Oops. Here, there's another issue. So here V1. Now both of them have got the same number of levels. Right. So now I'm just comparing two, two uh, strings. Okay. And okay, let me go through the next step as breaking this into the numbers. Okay, we want to break these into numbers. So, first of all, let's replace let me just copy this function and use it. Replace the dot with a space, okay, so that I can use it in the string stream method. String stream again. I'm. Uh, I think I explained string stream in one of the other last week's videos. But string stream is basically a way to convert the string into into space separated uh, values, right? Like C out and C in. Those are input streams. String stream is just. Like, let me show you. So let's say I have one, thirteen, 
45 right this is my input when i do cn this is my input and i write cn x y i think i explained this yesterday only right so now inside x we'll get 1 inside y we'll get 13 and inside z correct you guessed it we'll get 45 similarly if i store all this in a string scheme let's call it s in okay and then i write s in over here it will have the same same uh, effect okay is that fine please uh, leave your doubts in the comments and just tag my channel i'll reply to it so string stream s1 for first version okay let's call it ssv1 is having v1 and ssv2 is having so inside the constructor you pass the string right that you want inside that v2 great now while i'm taking a word from this okay so like while i'm getting an input from these string streams let me call them from the first version whatever i get i'll call that number one and number two right so while v1 string stream v1 is putting its value inside number one so first value is being put in number one similarly let uh, the second number also get filled now i have two numbers notice these strings now let's look at the logic immediately when i see that three is bigger than two i can return my answer and say that this version two is bigger right correct so immediately whichever is bigger if n1 is smaller than n2 return minus one else if n2 is smaller than n1 return what now this while loop will end when there's no input to be given so there's no number left no number left means it was all equal that's how we solve today's problem versions i think this is more of a problem where we are just supposed to write code and just supposed to know how to manipulate strings right inbuilt features like string stream for example in python this would be even more easy okay just directly we could have uh, made them into arrays okay from both the dot separated arrays even in js actually you could just directly make it a dot sep the array of numbers and keep comparing from both the arrays as long as one is bigger or if one gets over then that's the case yeah there would be no need of the initial right so anyways in c++ since i'm doing the series in c++ this is the way to solve the problem thanks for watching and stay tuned for all the problems one problem a day 30 problems will be done in the end of the month